So now, question four. Find, we're supposed to find P that will keep this structure in balance. So, uh, first things first, assign the coordinates, which they have done so. So the displacement coordinate for P is H2. The displacement coordinate for W is H1. Now, write the PVD formula. Sum of work done is equal to zero. So the work done we have P dh2, which is positive because they're both in the same direction, and then W dh1, also positive because they're in the same direction. So now, the variable to relate them to, the common variable to relate them to is actually theta, right? You see, as theta changes, h2 will change. As theta changes, h1 will also change. So they're both related to theta. So let's check the geometry of the structure. How can we relate them? First, let's do for h1. So h1, we can focus on this triangle. Right? So let me redraw this highlighted triangle out. And let's label its dimensions. So this height is actually h1, right? So this is h1. And this length, the hypotenuse, is actually L, right? L we given here. So we need to say, oh, and don't forget about this theta. So if I want to relate L, theta, and H1, the trigonometry I can use is cosine. So cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. Making H1 the subject, we have L cosine theta. OK. Uh, so we want to find delta H1. Let us use the small approximate change formula. So dH1 is equal to dH1 d theta multiplied by delta theta. And this is equal to this. And we found this earlier. OK, differentiation of cosine is negative sine. OK. So this is our dh1. We'll sub this into the PVD formula later. Now let's find delta h2. Now, notice that this angle over here is 2 theta. OK? Now, why is that the case? Let, let's, let's zoom into this uh, photograph here. So hang on a minute. So the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, correct? Focus on this triangle right now, right? So to find this remaining angle, it will be 180 minus 2 theta, right? The 2 theta comes from this theta and this theta, right? So to find the remaining angle, you take 180 minus away those 2 thetas. Now, how to find this angle here? Let's call this alpha. So Notice that they all fall on this straight rigid bar. And we know that for a straight line, the total angle is 180 degrees. So to find alpha, we take 180 minus away that remaining angle here. So minus 180 minus 2 theta. You expand this. And these will cancel away. So we know that this is 2 theta, which is this. OK? <clears throat> now, knowing that that is 2 theta, what can we do? See, I extend, I produce this horizontal line over here. So I make a right angle triangle. When we can identify that right angle triangle, again, we can use our trigonometry. So what's the most appropriate trigonometry here? For this angle 2 theta, we can see that we have the hypotenuse, and actually we can find the adjacent, right? Because they told us that this entire length from here to this pivot is A, right? They label here A. But from here to the horizontal line that I draw is H2. So the remaining, this adjacent part is actually A minus H2. I hope you, can all, you all can see that. This is A. 
this H2. So that remaining piece will be A minus H2. So using cosine, we can say cosine 2 theta is actually adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so we want to make uh we want to make the H2 the subject. So let us move everything over this. H2 being the subject, it is A, L minus A, cosine 2 theta. Now we want to get delta H2. So you use the small approximate change formula, dH2, d theta, delta theta. So you put this into here, you get d d theta a minus l minus a cosine 2 theta delta theta. Okay, so differentiation of a constant is just nothing, so this becomes zero. Now you differentiate this. So the differentiation of cosine will be minus sine. And then don't forget to differentiate the inside. So differentiating 2 theta, you'll get 2, right? And then this negative can cancel with this negative. So this negative cancels with this negative, giving me L minus A. Then this 2, I'll bring it to the front. So 2 is here. And then this cosine 2 theta became a sine 2 theta delta theta. OK, so now we can substitute this also into the PVD formula. So remember the PVD formula, what is it? Where is my PVD formula? It's over here. So we substitute this into here. We get P times two L minus A sine 2 theta delta theta plus w times now what is my dh1 dh1 is negative l sine theta d theta negative l sine theta d theta right let me check again yep so okay let me check if we can simplify anything. First, let's drop the infinitesimals. So drop this, drop this. Now, we're going to use the double angle formula to change this. Now, remember, the double angle formula says that sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta. And when we know that this is now 2 sine theta cos theta, see, both this term and this term have sine theta, right? So I can cancel this, cancel this. Now, what am I left with behind? So if I simplify this side, I shall get P times four, P times four L minus A cosine theta. This becomes minus W L equals to zero. Okay, so if I make P the subject, I shall get W L four L minus A cosine theta. Okay, let me check if this is the answer. Yep, W L four minus A L minus A cosine theta. Yep, so this is the answer. Okay. If you found this video helpful, please support me on coffee. I really appreciate your help to grow the channel.